Wow, but I could just cry, man. Literally, man. Like, I wanted, I want, I want to give you guys a little like revelation. Like, you, like you guys got deep in like Mark four, Mark four. Oh my days. That book describes about what I got from the book was was the power of the sower. And then, as you as you, uh, as you see, it, it describes the different types of of of, of seeds. Wow, well, different types of seeds. We see that one, for example, one for example, you know, it plants is bad, but it doesn't go true. Which is kind of shown to us is that some people that get the word from the Lord, the power go, they get the word from the Lord, but they don't act on it and it, it, it dies. Second, for example, is the one like we the 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 they plant the seed, but the Satan this um distracts them and he get he gets them done. Number three, we see again is the one that the, the, the seed gets planted here, yeah, but he's so fixated on things of this world. Then we see that the last one, the seed gets planted, the seed gets planted, and and that's the one that that goes that. She's from 30 to 60 to 90 to 100 and then and and and, and what um, what what can we get from that was that yes the power yes the different types of seed but deeper to plant the seed what do you need water if you stop if you stop on water that's you that's you will stop growing that's you that's you will not will not grow as as it should same way we are we, we are the water of god the minute the minute you stop watching your bible which is Pour into your Bible, pour into into your secret place, pour into prayer life, pour into your time with the Lord. What's happening? What's happening? So you're going from the different types of seeds, you're going from the four to the three to one, which you, you are decreasing. You are decreasing. Wow. Holy Spirit, you are decreasing. It's been so emotional because sometimes we get like this. Sometimes, sometimes we don't we don't dig deep into the Bible. We don't want to like we don't want to see, we don't want to seek the feet of Jesus. And, we think that sometimes in the future it's how we spend, but it's a heart aligned. Some people read the Bible just to read the Bible. Some people pray just to pray. But when you pray, when you read the Bible, do you change? So there's something in you that dies that that that, that that's going deeper that's going deeper. That is no blow, but is there something in you that's actually changing? And that's the biggest thing as Christians is that us is that what do you know that listen that as we dig deep into the Lord, as we see the face of the Lord, you cannot be the same and I guess what was you cannot be the same as you seek Jesus. You cannot be the same as you dive deeper into the world. You cannot remain the same. The so this, the, this, the Holy Spirit changes people. The Holy Spirit changes people. He changes people. He, he changes souls, and that's what I want people to know. God, the Lord changes. But do you want to change though? You know, and that's why I, my, my, I'm just so like, wow. This is I read Mark so many times. I don't read books so many times we don't actually grasp what it actually means what the Lord trying to teach us. I can say Jimmy was reading Mark I'm getting so much revelation. So I want to say to someone right now that that if you want to stay alive for the Lord, you, you gotta put the water in. You gotta put the water in your into your word. You gotta put the water into your prayer life. You gotta put water into fasting. You gotta put water into so many fundamentals for it to grow because I must see the so small, but as you put water, it grows from one of the biggest plants. And if you want to be a plant that grows as grows and grows and grows and grows that never stops water yourself in the lord water your your prayer life with the lord water it with the lord oh my love she wow god bless you guys have an amazing day and wow wow